so we read about databases now let's try to create our own json database and in the process we will uh, try to understand uh, how we can actually extract the data from a json and how to manipulate the json and how we, how we can do this all thing in the python so let's go back to our code and let me tell you where exactly I'm creating, where exactly I will be creating a file. So I'll be creating a new file inside our project folder. This is because then if I want to fetch some function from that file, then I can directly call uh, import that file from here. Whatever if you want to extract, like if an image is here, we need to do it from this folder only because this uh, manage.py file is running here and this is basically running the Django server and it's uh, so if we place a file here it can see the file otherwise if I keep it inside the hello world it will not be able to see that file so I'll create a new file along with that manage.py file so I create a new file uh, it's getting created and I can call it maybe db.py so first thing let's see what exactly will uh, be our JSON object so suppose we are creating and let me zoom in a bit so suppose we are creating a website which is for clothing like an e-commerce website there we will need to fetch the information suppose like there is a filter and in that filter the customer is trying to set a filter on how exactly uh, he wants like the uh, the size of a shirt he is looking for is large the color he might be looking for is the uh, it might be brown and the price range so we will have to save the data of each and every shirt in that manner so that at the time the client will be searching we have those values so let's say we have one shirt and we want to save it in our database so that object will be like first the name of that object it can be t-shirt and then maybe the price it can be integer or a string also maybe 1000 size can be large and similarly color it can be brown so here we have created one object this object is in Python right now it's in it's a dictionary but this object is same as a JSON object now this is something which we will be getting from our front end while say like suppose we have a one uh, person whose job is to save uh, all the data in our database by looking at the clothes we have so he will try to input these parameters and that object will be created in the front end and that will go into the back end where we will have to store it to further process it somewhere else so the uh, every database should have Two functions one we must be able to read the database we must be able to read what is inside our database and the second is we must be able to write inside our database so we will create here two functions uh, maybe read DB and the other function as write DB so in the read DB we want to read whatever is inside our database so first thing which we want is a file name where um, this file will be a JSON file only which will be saving all of our databases all of our objects which will be coming from the front end so the file name by default I can give it to as db dot 
json dot json extension is necessary because then all the all the details will be saved in a json manner now i'll use some simple uh, python here uh, for opening this file and the while reading we can have this mode of read only and when we open it the data is nothing but all the json which we we load from this file so there's one library in python which is json library we will need that to read the json from that file so we use json dot load then that file so all the data which is inside that uh, file which is nothing but a big json will be saved uh, which will be transferred into this data variable and then we can return this data so the data will this data will have all the objects which are saved in that json file similarly at the time of writing inside a db we will have one object which we will be getting from the front end and we want to write it in our database similarly the file name uh, which by default we give at db.json and similarly as we first we okay so this is quite tricky here first we will need to read the database then manipulate it then store it back so that we don't lose any data which is stored earlier otherwise if we could just uh, read this uh, if if I just take this object and store it inside our database that will uh, create a new object uh, and a new JSON and there will be no uh, data which was earlier so first we will need to read our file first we are reading the file and then here only we can say uh, that it's a list so now we'll have to understand how exactly are we writing the objects in our database so for that we will have to create this db.json file so that we can visualize it better so let's create our db.json file and in this file let's say we have one big json which is nothing but a database and in this database uh, we have two sections let's say one is where we store all the clothes of men and another is for women so in, in the front of men we will have one list and in the front of women we will have another list and in this list we will be saving our JSONs like this so basically first uh, our whole db.json is nothing but a single JSON in that JSON we have one key which is database and in that key we have two more keys which are men and women in front of men we have a list in front of women we have a list now we'll be saving these objects which for example we had one object here for one clothing suppose this is for men so this object will get saved here as one object and this object should be json that's why it is here as a json so i'll delete this part here i'll just make it as an empty list so that while writing inside the DB I can just write uh, that object in this particular list so let's save this db.json file so now when we are trying to write the database we have first first fetched all the uh, the full JSON or the all the full data you can say now we'll say that is a temporary data so whatever is inside the data the first key was database so uh, 
uh, we know that this is uh, the database uh, this object is for men shirt so within that database we extract what is whatever is inside the men's uh, key which is nothing but a list for now it's an empty list so we will try to append our object inside that list now we have appended that op uh, that object inside our list now we have created that database desired database locally but we have not pushed it back to our json file so let's do it here again now but we'll not use a reading mode we we'll use a write mode and we can say uh, we can use this json dot dump which will uh, take whatever data we have and it will save back into that file as a json file you can see i have i have added an object in the temporary data but i'm storing back the data one may say that the data variable did not ever got changed it was the temporary data which we were appending so in python when we have this equal equality sign here it is not creating a new object it is actually using the same memory so whatever we are appending inside this temporary uh, temporary variable is actually getting back into our data also so at the time of saving we are storing back the full data along with the new object in that new list now let's try to test it first we uh, let's try to add some object in our database so we already have one object created we just need to call this write db function let's call this write db and the object is nothing but our object which we created at the start of our code then we can uh, first let's run this part of the code and i can just do python3 db.py and it ran beautifully there's no error now let's check what happens in our db.json file as you can see there is one object inside this men's list let me make it a, a better in view so as you can see earlier we had nothing inside our list and now we have added one object inside this particular list i'll go back here and again let's try to change the price of this shirt to maybe 900 and size to excel and it can be black and let's try to run this code again let's again try to see what happened in our db.json now again we can see there is this is the first object which we saved and this is the second object the price is now sorry the 9000 and the color is the black and it is extra large so this is how we saved the object successfully into our database now let's try to read some object which is stored in our database so our data and we can directly call read db as we don't need to give a default file name uh, we don't we don't need to give a file name because the file name is by default db.json and let's try to print whatever is inside our database i'll try to run this code and can, as you can see we got the full database here with the men having two objects and the women have a woman key have this empty list so this is how we we can actually write the data in our db.json file and read the data using some simple python code 
next we will use this db.json in our django to create an api which can store the object sent from the front end and it can read the object sent from the front end depending on the request from the client 